Okay, so you know that you have something nudging at you to start a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna teach you right now how to get to a thousand subscribers super quick. You can actually do this in less than a month, okay? Do not buy a $2,000 course on how to earn 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Do not do it, you can do it for free. I'm gonna tell you right now how to do it for free. I just did it. You can see, as I'm making this video right now in 2023, first of all, it's never too late, it's number one. Number two, in 2023, you can still get to a thousand subscribers super quick without paying for any type of courses, any kind of coaching, anything. Okay. So th consider this to be your coaching. Okay. I just did it. You can check out my page. I've been on YouTube for super long. I just started taking it more serious. And in the last six months, I've gotten up to 2000 subscribers and that's with real genuine effort that I've actually been putting in. Okay. So for the first nine years that I was on YouTube, I didn't care about posting, but now I feel like I have a message, right? I have a huge passion for helping people with health, fitness, and mindfulness. So a lot of my examples are going to be surrounded around that, but you can use this formula to get to a thousand subscribers with anything that you want to talk about. Okay. So number one, and the reason why I have my pen is because I want you to get your pen and paper out or get your fingers going on your phone. I don't know if you can write the notes down while you're looking at this YouTube video, but you're going to want to write these down because th this is the thing. The reason why I feel like there's a lot more value in this video than maybe someone that has 500K on YouTube talking about YouTube growth is because I just literally did it, okay? So I'm actually gonna create a playlist and you're gonna see my journey on how I'm gonna grow my page. But sometimes I feel like the message gets lost when the YouTubers are so big and they don't really remember like the, the, the tiny, tiny, tiny microscopic YouTuber problems right? With just getting your mindset right, getting the courage, talking on camera, like even me right now, I'm still learning, right? I'm still learning as I'm going. But the fact that I got to a thousand subscribers when I actually started putting in effort, I was like, oh, this is actually a thing. Like you can actually do it. It's real. It's tangible. It's, you can do this. So I'm going to tell you right now for free, okay? Do not buy any course for free. I'm going to tell you how to get to a thousand subscribers really quickly. So number one, and this is off the dome. So this is why, like, there's nothing on here. <laughs> there's nothing on here because I'm actually going to be talking about what I literally did. And then I'm going to be writing down the notes as we go along. And then we'll do like a quick little summary at the end. So number one, this is a really random one. You would think it'd be like, oh, make sure your lighting is good and make sure. No, right now, after, right after you watch this video, you're going to want to go to Roberto Blake. Okay, Roberto Blake on YouTube. He talks about YouTube growth. But specifically, the reason why Roberto Blake is so potent, like he is a must have in your toolkit when it comes to growing your YouTube is because he just, number one, he just keeps it real. Okay, so he is very, very realistic and down to earth and lives in reality with helping people truly grow their YouTube and not get overly complicated. But then he also gives you the stats. He also gives you his experience. And then he has so many other YouTubers that are, that have all these specialties in other areas about YouTube growth. So right now go to Roberto Blake. He wears a hat all the time. You'll see him, you'll, he'll pop right up. And he has these streams and on the streams, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a notepad because they're basically free trainings as well, okay? So the he'll have like a live stream, like it seems like he has a live stream like once every two weeks or once a month, but the live streams are like three to five hours long. So it's almost like you go to a miniature YouTube retreat, a YouTube growth retreat, and I mean, just potent gems are just falling out of his mouth. And then there's so many people, there's usually like three to 500 people that are also online and they're asking really amazing questions. So. And the reason why I love Roberto Blake is because he is really, really good with keeping up with the latest and greatest YouTube information, like YouTube updates, you know, things about shorts, things about hours watch, you know, things about how to get views, things about subscriber count, things about analytics, things about YouTube just came out with this new rule that you can or can't do. Like he's really good with like the tedious stuff that I feel like us as little miniature YouTubers, like we don't have the time to learn about all that stuff because we're just trying to figure out how to press on and press upload, right? So <laughs> we don't have, I mean, there's just physically not enough hours in the day. So you wanna go to someone like Roberto Blake. So if you have a, a, a journey, like, right? Like my, my fitness journey, my mindfulness journey, my wanting to help women, really anybody, but specifically women 
in the late 20s, 30s, and 40s get their mind right, get their confidence back up, get their wanting to tap into their health, all these different topics. I, because I have this passion for it, I really wanted to start putting that on YouTube. But then it gets intimidating because you're like, okay, I don't have the camera equipment. I don't have the lighting. I don't have the audio. I don't have all these things. And really what I'm learning is that, okay, so let me not get, so number one, Roberto Blake. So let me just write that down here, Roberto Blake. Okay. Go to his YouTube and you're going to want to literally take an entire week and just spend at least an hour a day watching his stuff. There's just gems upon gems upon gems. Okay. So that's, that's number one. Number two is I would say the biggest thing that I learned is just the fact that people are not going to really watch your page. Like they don't know who you are. There's so many other bigger YouTubers and people with an online presence that are talking about what you're looking for. So say if you're Googling health, fitness, and mindfulness, I'm not going to pop up immediately because I don't have this humongous platform now in my community, right? In my community of people, people I went to college with, people I went to high school with, people I've worked with, people that know me, you know, throughout the years at different events. Now they would be jumping onto whatever I'm talking about with health, fitness, and mindfulness, because I have a relationship with them. They know me, but online on this virtual, in this virtual world, I don't have a huge platform, right? So yet, right? So it that's okay. Like just get, get comfortable with the fact that nobody knows who you are. So you have really free reign to just get creative. Like just press on, on your, on like right now I'm on my cell phone. I'll probably upgrade to a Canon or a Sony or something like that in the future, but it doesn't have to be that serious. If you have a message, if you have a passion about something, like I have a passion about health, fitness and mindfulness, I literally just started pressing on with the live, looking wild in my car on the way to my workouts, right? And it's just like things that I wanted to talk about and wanted to share while I was in motion of doing the very thing that I'm passionate about and wanting to encourage other people about it. So I just started doing that pressing live and then I was like okay maybe I can set it up my camera up a little bit better right like maybe I can make sure to do a live when like it's sunny outside instead of it being nighttime where you can't really see me and then it was like the next month I was like okay well maybe let me just start actually doing like an actual real video and getting comfortable with that okay let me you know maybe invest in like a couple little lights on Amazon like I have this light right now <laughs> like it's not that serious guys like I have this light I don't want to mess up my whole little setup but get that on Amazon for 30 bucks, right? So then, okay, my lighting's a little bit better. Maybe, you know, people won't be so quick to click out, right? Because they can actually see me. <laughs> um, it's like, sometimes the video quality is just so bad that you might have the best message on the planet about the very thing that the person is looking for, but because the audio's bad or the lighting's bad, or you could have just went in front of your window, like you don't even need to invest in a, like you can just be in front of your window with natural lighting. So it just doesn't have to be that serious, and just be okay with the fact that you're gonna have to get creative when you're starting these videos. Okay, so I'm gonna put, be comfortable with experimenting. With experiment, okay, so that's just what it is. So once I started noticing, okay, people actually respond to some of my lives, but not all the time. Okay, well, people respond to my lives when I talk about that topic, so let me note that. People talk, people actually have been responding when I actually set up my camera and like, like have like a whole little miniature setup like they're actually staying on longer right like you look at your analytics so that's the third thing so that's the third thing look at your analytics okay so if you have a message out there you got to be serious so you have if you have a serious message that you want to put out into the universe into the world and you really want to help people like with me with health fitness and mindfulness I'm gonna have to look at my analytics just to see like where can I improve let me look at why people drop off right let me look at why people are walk, watching up to the middle of my video. Let me even understand what analytics are. So I actually, again, Roberto Blake is an excellent resource for that. There's whole live streams where he literally, the entire five hours of his live stream is just specifically going through how to read analytics, right? So you'll see, um, so you're gonna wanna go to YouTube, like the App Store and Apple, if you have an Android, I'm sure you can do the same thing and just download YouTube Studio. Hold on really quick, let me see. Okay, so you're gonna wanna go to YouTube Studio, okay? So YouTube Studio. Okay, so this is mine. Okay, so I have no problem showing you guys. This is mine, so this is what it's gonna look like. So I have 2,000 subscribers right now. I'll maybe do like another video of my analytics on another video, because I'm still learning as I go. But the analytics really helped me, especially when it came to 
right at the beginning of the video why people were dropping off people are still dropping off at the beginning but it's not as bad so i'm like okay cool when i actually study like for example i noticed that if i start off my videos with this super long intro of like hi i'm sianna singh i love talking about health fitness and mindfulness this is why i got into it the people like don't care about sianna singh yet right like they're like you have to think about it like if you are googling how to lose weight or how to lose my fat or how to have more confidence or how to you know get a smaller waist to get ready for vacation like they're not looking to learn about Sianna Singh. They're looking to solve a problem for themselves. So at the beginning of the video, if I have a 30 second, 45 second intro about who I am and where I went to college and all that stuff, like people are like, without putting myself down, people don't care. So you have to think about that too, right? So once I started cutting the intro shorter or just digging right into the, the topic or the video, I noticed that people would still drop off, but it was less, or they were staying on for 30 seconds instead of dropping off right after five seconds, right? So make sure if you are gonna do a video about whatever you're passionate about, so it might be for health, fitness, and mindfulness, I'm gonna get dig right into the video. Like, I'm not gonna go into this whole story about X, Y, and Z. It's like, you wanna lose fat? I have an answer, let's get into this, boom, right? Like, it doesn't have to be that serious, right? Like, you don't need this whole thing, so, if it's about video games, if, if it's about fishing, if it's about football, if it's about the workplace, how to move up in the workplace, whatever it's about, get right into it because people, you have to think, people, they, people don't have time or people have time, but they are very particular with what they do with their time. Okay. So like if they're on YouTube and they're looking for a solution, respect their time and the more that they see that you get right to the point and you solve a problem for them, the more they're gonna wanna watch, the more they're gonna wanna binge watch other things, right, on your on your page. So I'm learning that and Roberta Blake constantly is hammering that into your head. So it's like for me, like I now have watched Roberto Blake several on several videos. So now it's really cool, like now that I know him as a YouTuber, I'm like, oh, that's cool. He, you know, bought a new house or oh, that's cool, he's, traveling here oh that's cool he's really opening up about you know the fact that he got sick or did it it's like you know I'm interested in who he is now but at the beginning when I first discovered Roberto Blake I wasn't looking for to learn about Roberto Blake I was looking to grow my YouTube and he was just digging right into how to grow my YouTube so you need to think about that too right if it's about fishing you need to dig in right with right into fishing this these are the supplies that you need this is where you need to go this is the type of weather you need to do it in this is where people go wrong with fishing this is where like you need to get right into it so that's another huge thing that's another huge thing that i learned okay so number four you're gonna want to post shorts now let me be very specific about this because roberta blake talks about this and i've actually he's i have experienced what he what he always talks about which is if you post shorts the type of subscribers that you get from shorts shorts are really important for getting to a thousand subscribers yes but you want to build a community like you want to start out with building community there is no i mean if you just want to try to get to a million subscribers just to like i don't know do that for whatever reason that's fine but if you want to build a community when you're creating a short you're going to want to make it about what you're passionate about and how you can solve a problem for someone or how you can entertain someone right like that's usually the two reasons why people are on the internet looking at these different social media platforms or learning something or they're being entertained so when you're making a short you're going to want to take advantage of that because okay so i do notice that when i do make shorts if i post something okay so at the beginning i started posting stuff on shorts that were just like selfies or just like my food or it was and i would gain subscribers so you can get to that because if you were trying to get monetized you do need a th at least a thousand subscribers to get monetized so this is again how to get to a thousand subscribers really quickly. So you can use shorts to get to a thousand subscribers really quickly. However, you don't want to get caught up in the trap of YouTube seeing a short, it, it, it pushing it out, and then you gain like 20 subscribers, but then those subscribers don't really engage with your long form videos. So it's almost like you want to use the shorts as a portal to then invite them into your long form videos. Okay. So for example, I'll make a long form video and then I will do a remix and you'll see again, just type in remix, um, type in how to remix a YouTube video. Maybe I'll do a, a tutorial on that, like on another video, but you'll see it like on 
if you're making YouTube videos right now, if you look under your video, you'll see the word remix, okay? So you can actually remix it, which it, it makes it into a short. And then what I'll do is I'll remix my long form video, okay? And then I'll have a pop-up that says, click the pin comment to watch the full video. So I may only gain three or four or 10 subscribers from that, but they're subscribers that I want to, that I'm inviting into my community because I wanna build a platform. I wanna build my own little mini universe of health, fitness, mindfulness, and more, right? So you gotta really be honest with yourself. Like, do you wanna get to a thousand subscribers quickly just to say you did it? Or do you wanna build a community? And then also, you want to get to the 4,000 watch hours too, which I'm still on my journey with that. I'm still not at 4,000 watch hours. You can get to 1,000 subscribers quickly with doing shorts, which I have experienced. But I did notice that like my views weren't, weren't skyrocketing. But I also did notice that my views weren't also growing as quickly as my subscribers because of the type of shorts that I was posting. So I would get a lot of subscribers from shorts. So I hope this makes sense. I get a lot of subscribers from shorts, but then they don't come back to watch the long form unless you make it specifically geared toward that or you're inviting people into that, into watching your long form video, okay? So if you're trying to be monetized, you gotta really think about that. So you can end up having 10,000 subscribers, but then you only have 500 watch hours, right? So like, I'll be honest, like right now, I have 2,000 subscribers, so I've hit the threshold. I got that really, I got the subscribers really quickly by doing shorts. But then my my views have been kind of like, eh, 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 right? And so I noticed that it's because the subscribers I'm getting, are they just want the shorts content. They don't want the long form. So I started doing less silly short content and got more intentional with my shorts, inviting people in. And then I started noticing that my views were starting to go up when I was more strategic with my shorts. So I hope that makes sense. Probably butchered that, but this is because I'm in the thick of it. I'm going through it right now with you. So again, you can literally get a thousand subscribers in less than a month with posting consistently on shorts, but I'm telling you to be more strategic with your shorts. Don't just post anything, get to this 1000 subscribers, but then your views don't move. Okay, so hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments if that makes sense. I could do another video. If it doesn't make sense, be honest with me. Say, can you please explain that again? <laughs> I have no problem doing that because that's where I think people are, 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 if you're really on the journey of growing and building a platform and you have a message or you wanna share your journey with your fitness, with your mindfulness, with your, like, if you have, if you lost 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 100 pounds, and you really wanna motivate and inspire other people to do it, don't post something silly on the shorts and then they never end up seeing your long form videos, okay? Make a long form video and then you could chop up that video and make it a nice short video and then invite people to watch the long form video. So that's what I've been doing. That's been working for me. My views have been consistently going up. They're not rap, you know, it hasn't blasted off like it will. I know, I just, I know it, I know it will, but it hasn't blasted off, but I actually like that it's been consistent like a slow growth consistent because I know that I'm actually building a community. Okay. So that's where we want to think about. That's what we want to think about. That's where we want to head to. If you have a genuine message that you want to build. Okay. And then last but not least is just be consistent. If you are working full time, if you have kids, if you have multiple things going on, make like make YouTube a part of your like there's, there's, okay. So you start thinking about things as important versus urgent, right? Some things are important, but they're not really urgent. Some things are urgent and, and important, right? Like, but it's like, or maybe it's urgent, but it's not super important, important, but it's like urgent because you need to do it right now. So like, I'm trying to think of like, I would say the, the last thing I want to leave you with, cause I could go on and on and on. I'll probably do a part two and a three and a four, honestly, with this, but you got to be consistent and you can't let the views distract you you can't let it kill your self-esteem you can't let it tear you down you can't let it make you feel like you're stupid like if you do a video and you gain one subscriber and two views and then it's like it's been like that for a month all that means that doesn't mean stop that just means keep going and then really start to analyze why that is you 
what I noticed is that just by changing a few things, tweaking a few things, I started getting, like I went from having six or seven views to having like consistently 50 to 80 views. So that means what I tweaked is working. So it's okay. Like some people just have that, that thing, right? That personality, the amazing looks, the, I don't know, just something very unique to where it gives them a competitive advantage over others where it's like they just know how to talk on camera, right? Like in person, I'm very, very engaging and I'm very, very, like I can, I can really connect with people very, very well in person. On camera, it's a journey for me, right? Because like the awkwardness with talking, the stuttering, not looking in the camera, like I'm not a TV personality. Who, who knows? Maybe one day I will be, but like that doesn't cut flow off of me, right? So I had to get over that. I was like, okay, my first live, like that's why I just started pressing live because I was like, I just need to start talking, right? So even if I don't get any views for Sienna Singh, she just needs to practice using her voice, looking at a lens because it's awkward looking at a lens talking and you have all these major points. And then it's like, I'm looking at the lens, but then behind the lens right now is like my closet. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I'm over here passionately talking as if I'm trying to talk to a person, but then like in my reality right now, it's my bed. So like that would mess with me, but now I'm like, I don't care. I have a message and, and you need to really get this message and it's gonna change your life. That's what, like, that's where I'm at now, but I had to overcome that. Some people can do that in one video. Some people it takes a year, like me. <laughs> so if you're like me, it's okay. We're in this together, but just be consistent. So each time you post, so number one, upload a hundred videos upload a hundred videos. That's just my opinion. You're going to hear that. You're going to hear quality over quantity, all that stuff. In my opinion, on my experience, I've had to do quantity and then tweak quality with each, with each video, right? Because Sienna Singh, myself, had to just learn certain things about YouTube, certain things about lighting, certain things about how to even upload certain things about my titles, certain things about, you know, my YouTube thumbnail. Like there's so many moving parts that you can overwhelm yourself and, and almost like talk yourself out of ever even pressing post or, or, or pressing play on a video because there's literally hundreds, arguably, if not thousands of different things that you have to think about when you're doing a video. So it's okay that you're not a 500k or, or your videos are not at 500k level yet but they will get there so oh this just went out come on come on really that's interesting hmm these it just went out but that's okay Anyways, so again, I'm learning, you know, maybe I'll learn why that went out, whatever. It's like I'm on the journey, right? So those are my, those are my five points um, is a consistency. Just don't let it, don't, just don't stop with it, okay? Yes, do I want to be monetized? Yes, but I think the bigger thing that's kept me going, so I started taking it really, I started putting an effort about a year ago and my effort was just pressing on because I needed to learn how to activate my voice looking at a, at a, at a lens. Then I started taking it more seriously with like, okay, let me, you know, maybe not be in a car all the time, right? Like I probably still will post while I'm in a car, like on live, but maybe all my videos don't have to be like that, right? Like maybe I can actually sit down and be like stationary and not have to like worry about the red light or worry about like not hitting someone, <laughs> you know, um, even though I'm very particular about not looking at the camera, but still it's like, who wants to really learn how to change their life when someone's like in the car you know so anyway so I started doing that and then I was like okay maybe I can set the camera up a little bit better whatever so although I'm not getting paid from YouTube to talk about my message with health fitness and mindfulness it doesn't matter because my passion and drive for talking about health fitness and mindfulness comes from within it's an intrinsic motivation like I'm not getting an extrinsic motivator, which is, oh, I wanna be paid from YouTube. It's intrinsic. I really wanna pour into people because I used to be a district manager and I used to love when I would see light bulbs go off for them. And then as the light bulbs went off for them, their life was literally changing before my eyes. Like they would get, you know, I'd be able to promote them or I would see them grow in some way or I would see them 
learn how to train other people or I would see, you know, them just be more confident or have higher self-esteem or um, all these things, right? So that's, I love seeing, I love pouring light into people because like, it's like I pour light into them and then like they light up and then I light up and then it's just like this light exchange. So that's what it is for me. Of course, I would love, like I'm, I plan on making this my full-time thing is like you know coaching developing people uplifting people activating people in certain ways like all these things but the consistency is like I could talk about this for five hours at the you know with the lady behind me at the grocery store and that's what I do all the time so that's why I was like let me just start making YouTube videos so if you can't be consistent you are look you have you're tapping into something that's extrinsic you got to find something that's intrinsic to keep you consistent because it, for some people, they get monetized really quickly. Some people it takes them years and years and years. So if you're not getting some kind of value or some kind of gift or some kind of like, you're not filling up your cup right now, like right now I'm filling up my own cup. Like I know when I post this video, I'm not going to get $7,000, $10,000 off of a video like an, another, another YouTuber would right now but I'm filling up my own cup because I know I'm hopefully motivating one human being and getting a light bulb to go off for one human being that ends up starting off their journey with sharing their journey of health, fitness, and mindfulness and how, cause sometimes like there is a message that you have and it needs to come from your mouth. Like I could be talking about fitness, but because I'm a, a woman, because I'm, have an American, I'm from America, like maybe someone is not going to resonate with that. They're, they need this, they need to hear it from your accent, right? Like they need to hear it from India. They need to hear it from Africa. They need to hear it from Australia. They need to hear it from South America. Like they need to hear it from a human being that they can relate to. So sometimes like we have these beautiful messages that are sitting inside of our body, but we're too, we're, we're just like too much in our head. So there, if you have the inkling, I'll just say it like this and I'll end it on this. If you have a message that you want to share with someone, it's because there's someone out there that's supposed to hear it from you specifically. Okay, so that's what fills me up. So right now doing this video, it's filling me up. So it doesn't matter, money or not, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to have lunch after this and be like, ooh, I hope someone got something from that. Like that was really dope. Okay. So, so yeah, so that's what I wanted to tell you guys today. Do not spend thousands of dollars. I did not spend a dime on getting to a thousand subscribers quickly, okay? When I started putting in effort, I got to a thousand subscribers quickly with, so let's just go quickly do a recap and let's quickly do a recap. So right, right after this video, go to Roberto Blake, binge watch all his videos, okay? Number two, get comfortable experimenting do some videos outside, do some videos in your house, do some videos in your car, experiment with, do I do better when I script? Do I do better when it's off the head? Do I do better, like, you know, just experiment and be comfortable knowing that you're gonna be learning and people's comments are gonna kind of guide you to what you should be doing and what you should be talking about, okay? What people are looking for. You could be talking about millions of different things, but if nobody's commenting, it's like you just gotta keep going until it's like something hits where it's like, People are like, wow, this is great. Wow, this really helped me. Wow, this made me laugh. Wow, this really changed my life. Wow. It's like, okay, maybe, okay, perfect. Boom. I found, I did a video about that one particular topic. I enjoy talking about that. So let me just do a series of videos about that topic. And let me just continue to experiment to see if I can start to draw more people in with talking about that specific topic. So it, it, just be comfortable knowing that you are an experimenter with this. Okay. Number three is look at your analytics. There's hundreds if not thousands of videos of people teaching how to do analytics also roberta blake literally has like i'm not even kidding like five hour breakdowns of like this is, this is how you look at your view your views for your video this is why they drop off this is this is your demographic this is this is how you ch you know all the different things i'm not going to go through it because i'm still learning it so it's not like flowing off my tongue right now but go to Roberto Blake, go to his lives, and they're basically free trainings. Number four, you gotta post shorts. If you wanna get to 1,000 subscribers quickly, post shorts consistently, but make sure you're strategic with your shorts. Don't post BS. Don't just get to 1,000 subscribers just to say you got to 1,000 subscribers. 
be very strategic, hook people in with what you want your channel to be about because you're helping people or you're entertaining people. And I do notice that the, the algorithm does push out the shorts more, but don't just push out, don't just get subscribers for BS. Get subscribers because you're building a community or you're doing something impactful, in my opinion. Do what you want with that. And number five is the most important, just stay consistent, okay? Stay consistent, don't stop. Don't let the views bother you. It just means that there's every single video video you upload, there's just one one percent of, just tweak one thing that makes it 1% better than the last video. That's it. And once you keep doing that over the course of six months, a year, two years, I, I just don't understand how you can't get better and better at your videos if you're just doing something to intentionally improve your your very last video okay that's what i'm doing that's look at my last videos they're fuzzy they're weird they're you know and then in six months i'm gonna look at this video and be like wow really sienna like you could have you, you could have did you know this got to be better this got to be better so it's like we're going to be constantly improving and i'm okay like just be comfortable in the fact that it's going to be uncomfortable and then all of a sudden the more uncomfortable you get it just becomes comfortable and you're like like when i started doing lives i was like I used to be so like weirded out by doing lives and now I'm like just press live and I'm like what up Did it, it's like so comfortable now but it took me like three months of consistently doing lives to just feel comfortable speaking to a lens so that's pretty much it so if you do want to support my channel if you do want to rock with me on this journey make sure you like make sure you subscribe to this channel right I mainly talk about health fitness and mindfulness but I'm also going to talk about how I'm growing my channel and um, if you want to support, I do have a Patreon down below. Check that out. I also do have um, some other things, um, cool things that you can check out. Um, I do some affiliate, some other cool things that you can check out below because I do talk about health, fitness, and mindfulness. I have some supplements that I am so, so, so passionate about that have really helped me like with my hair and my skin and things like that. So you can check that out below. And I'm also on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. So you can check me out over there. When you click out of this video, before you go to Roberto Blake, check out my other videos about health, fitness, and mindfulness, okay? There's a lot of videos that I have about realistic ways to lose weight, realistic ways to gain confidence, real, realistic ways to build better habits for yourself. So check out that, those other videos before you head over to B Roberto Blake. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Catch me on the next one. Bye.